Hey guys, Mars Ingen here bringing another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle video and so we now have some extra information. Uh, this will have I imagine come from the data download uh, taken from some of the stuff that's in the files. We often get things like pieces of the banner in uh, like banner assets we often get things like what's going to be the actual news update right because there'll be a news thing saying that the banner is going to come out at a certain time um, and it will show some very basic artwork however i seriously has posted and i seriously obviously very trusted person in the community when it comes to posting leaks and things like that usually if he posts something you can pretty much guarantee that it is going to be on the level uh, he has posted this image Jewel Dokkan Festival. So after the speculation that we were doing yesterday, I obviously did a video where I talked about the possible leader skills and all that kind of stuff. We basically now have confirmation that both Zamasu and fusing Goku and Vegeta into Vegito Blue are both Dokkan Fest exclusives. So that means that they are just going back to the old format of having a Jewel Dokkan Fest uh, banners in part one. Um, I'm assuming part two is going to be like the anniversary where it's two separate carnival banners. Um, considering obviously last year with the worldwide celebration, they introduced the carnival banner format and the banners were split one carnival, one Dokkan Fest per part. Um, I, I gotta be honest. I don't really know how I feel about this. Um, I think this is really dumb. Um, I know a lot of people didn't like the Dokkan Fest and carnival in part one and then again in part two format, but we already had these kind of complaints when the anniversary happened, but now that they've done this, it just makes the introduction of the carnival coins and like the carnival exclusive LRs feel completely pointless. Um, cause this is the tweet, the follow up tweet that I made. Cause last year we got the introduction of a new format and a new coin, a new class of LR, right? Carnival exclusive LRs. I like yellow coin LRs, but slightly better, better leader skill, but they only ever come back on carnival exclusive LR banners, which means we've had units like the STR Carnival Goku, who released at the end of last year for JP, beginning of this year for Global, and only just returned on JP, like last month or just over, and has not returned on Global yet. Whereas if they were yellow coin LRs and they just stuck to that normal format, those units would have been back unfeatured in every LR banner ever since their release and people would have actually had the opportunities to pull them for the first time or pull them from their, um, you know, uh, later banners or pull dupes or anything like that, right? So this is very strange because when you think about the overall change that this has actually made to the game all it has done is made the anniversary and worldwide celebration banner formats worse because the anniversary always used to be two dokkan fest banners in part one and then one lr banner in part two that had two lrs on it so you only had one banner to summon on sure you might only pull the lr out of the two that you didn't really want but at least you had the chance to get both of them and I know like, you know, we'd always see screenshots of people pulling both of them in the same multi and stuff like that. Whereas then the anniversary came out this year and it was two separate carnival banners, which means you then had to split your stones between the two, depending on which one you wanted the most. Obviously, depending on which units were featured, you might want the main unit on one banner, but you really want one of the featured units on the other banner. So personally, I thought doing it that way was an absolutely terrible change. And I was hoping that the worldwide uh, format would just go back to being the way it was right and unfortunately that is not the case so that means part two will remain to be seen how the format is going to work is it going to be like the anniversary where they just do two separate carnival banners i mean because they did that for the anniversary it feels like that is the way they're going to go but realistically it's now probably better for the player base if they just went back to doing one banner with two new lrs or maybe there'll only be one carnival banner in part two and we only get one carnival lr who knows but if they go if they stick with the anniversary theme and it's two separate carnival banners then honestly i think that this is nothing but a massive fumble and it just makes bringing carnival coins and carnival lrs into the game completely pointless because you've introduced a whole new coin economy which now we've got a whole different coin we have to save up for. It's coins that can only be used, like certain units can only be got with those coins because they're carnival exclusive. Whereas if all of that had just remained yellow coin LRs, we would obviously still have the coins that we had already. They would be featured on more, well, they'd be unfeatured on more banners. Um, and I mean, the, at the end of the day, the only reason why you can really even think that they did this is just to make more money, right? Having an extra banner with a separate set of characters means if you want both the characters, you have to summon on both banners. 
Um, so honestly, I think this is actually really disappointing. Considering how hype everything has been for the worldwide celebration so far, I think this is just, this kind of puts a dampener on things. Like, don't get me wrong, both Vegito and Zamasu being Dokkan Fest exclusive LRs is really, really good for them. It's just the overall picture that this now sort of creates where introducing the carnival format basically was a complete waste of time. So let me know what you guys think of that down below. Um, I'm definitely very disappointed. I liked the Dokkan Fest and Carnival in each part. I feel like that kept the hype there for part two because a lot of people only really care about the Dokkan Fest exclusive anyway. But you guys let me know what you think down below. Now, the thing is, that means we are going to see two Dokkan Fest exclusive banners for uh, part one. And obviously these banners are usually absolutely stacked. So this is Cooler's banner from last year and the AGL Super Saiyans banner. I'll do a separate video doing my predictions for what I think the exact banner lineup will be. But you have to imagine there's going to be some pretty crazy stuff on here. As well as the fact that both banners get a side banner unit. Which means we are going to have two side banner units releasing in part one as well. So it'll be very interesting to see what those could be for both of the banners. Um, considering we are getting both the Super and Extreme representation with Zamasu and Vegito. There's obviously a wealth of different options. Trunks, Mai, Gawasu, Supreme Kai, any combination of those. And then of course for the Extreme side, I mean I guess we kind of really are only looking at options being like Goku Black. Uh, in one of his various different forms. Base Zamasu. Um, I, that's kind of it right for the Extreme side for Future Saga. I, unless they do go with like an androids or a cell unit which i think is unlikely um but yeah these banners are going to be absolutely stacked because these banners should feature the return of the 23rd world tournament goku and piccolo jr so i will say the one good thing about both of these banners being dokon fests and both being out for part one it does mean if you were looking forward to picking up either 23rd world tournament goku or piccolo you don't have to worry about the fact that one of them could the one that you want could have been on the dokon fest banner that was in part two Whereas now they're just both going to be out in part one. So you're going to be able to get them straight away. Obviously, as always, you know, don't buy units with coins until you know you're done summoning. Because you might just end up pulling them afterwards. Um, but yeah, I will do a more detailed video about what I expect the banner lineup to look like. But we are going to see some interesting stuff on here. I mean, the six-year LRs were on the banner for last year. So the seven-year LRs could potentially be on here. Especially if Vegito is going to have some sort of leader skill to do with fused fighters. Because then obviously both of those would be on there. Uh, the Worldwide Celebration. LRs from the year before so we can expect to see Cooler and the AGL Super Saiyans. Um, I think the uh, LR Ultima Gohan and Orange Piccolo should be on here as well. So these banners are going to be absolutely stacked. Uh, dual Dokkan Fest banners for part one. Um, honestly, you know, ignoring the stuff about how the carnival thing now seems like a big fail. Um, very excited for this. Both of these banners should obviously be very, very good. Both the units now being Dokkan Fest exclusives means that they are going to have the multiple categories with 170 and then one or more plus 30% leader skill, which is obviously good for them. Uh, Extreme des desperately needed a good Dokkan Fest exclusive. And uh, it always seemed odd the idea that a fusing Goku and Vegeta Blue would only be a Carnival LR. And there you go. We have the answer. They are both Dokkan Fest exclusives. So let me know what you think about this down below in the comment section. Do you prefer this? Do you dislike this? How do you feel about Carnival uh, LRs and Carnival coins in general now? Uh, definitely a bit of a strange one, but still a hype announcement. It definitely does increase the hype for those part one banners for sure. But I feel like this is going to be leave a lot of people very disappointed with part two in terms of what is available summon wise but i guess it depends like i said they could do one carnival banner with two lrs maybe they just go back to that format because they've gotten bad feedback about carnival lrs i'm not sure remember there is a new global survey out as well so make sure you let them know how you feel about the carnival um, situation in that survey right because that is our opportunity to give them direct feedback so i definitely will be putting something in mind about how I feel about this whole situation and I feel like everybody else should do the same if you haven't done the survey yet. So let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. Definitely still hype for part one. Uh, it all kicks off tomorrow morning so I'll be live on the early stream. Uh, I think I'll go live a little bit earlier than usual so we're ready for everything to drop. Um, and hopefully I'll see you guys there. So that is going to be it for the video, guys. This has been The Master Ningen. Smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. Check out the links down below for the Discord and the merch store. And I will see you all again soon. Have a good one.